Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a very new, exciting week for going on vacation. It's finally happening. I can't find my tripod base because I think I packed it already. Pardon <laughs> the shaky situation, but uh, yeah, we are packing and getting ready. It took me the past two days to really prepare for everything because I'm one of those that needs my house to be spick and span before I can leave so that when we come home the house feels amazing like a hotel um, so that it's not depressing. <laughs> I really like to come back to a spotless house. I've watered all of my plants. I've mopped the floors three times. I want the house to not smell like dogs when we walk back into the door and I just got to go throw a last bit of dishes into the dishwasher and we're good, we're prepped. Uh, my husband is getting the car ready. We have a new roof rack for his car that is gonna be like essentially where we put our luggage. And this is our first time ever doing that because we're bringing the dogs. So we have their little seats in the back with buckles so that they are buckled in. And um, it's about a five hour drive to our first destination. This California trip is going to be a road trip. So we are stopping at many places over the next seven days throughout California on various adventures in different cities. The first stop is gonna be Oregon, which is where my husband's dad and his wife lives. And we're gonna just stop in, have some dinner, cut up the trip a little bit, hang out with them. They have some dachshunds that uh, they're older, so they're not gonna be that excited to see my dogs, but my dogs are in for a treat because they're still really young and get really excited to see other dogs and people. So they're just gonna be in their element on this little adventure, especially Marvin. Like I think if Marvin could just travel the world with a, like one piece of luggage for the rest of his life, he would. Like he's such an adventurous little pup. <laughs> so he's gonna love this. But first stop, Oregon. The next morning we get up and drive five more hours to Redding, California, which is where my husband did most of his like high school and middle school growing up. So a lot of his friends are there and he's gonna go golfing with a group of his pals. I'm probably just gonna hang back and kick it with the wife and the wives -a, or I don't know, maybe I'll just relax. I'm bringing a book. I wanna do a lot of slowing down on this trip, even though it's hilarious because we're gonna be speeding up and driving around and going to a million different places. But at the same time, I wanna make sure I'm taking time to really enjoy the time off. And then after Redding, we're gonna be heading to Sacramento. There is a huge heavy hitter tattoo convention. All sorts of tattoo artists from all over the world are flying in to the Sacramento convention. This, the um, San Francisco convention is one that we've been to before and I don't know that they're doing it anymore or what's going on, but this one's kind of like a little bit of a takeover version of that. So it's a lot of the same people from what I understand but uh, my husband's getting tattooed. I haven't decided, not sure if I wanna get tattooed while we're gonna be like staying in so many different places. Um, so I'm thinking about it. Sorry, I had to take this and I'm negative. Even though a C looks like it's positive, a C does not mean positive, C and T means it's positive. But at first when I saw that, I freaked. But I have the worst allergies. Um, right now I, I, I sound fine, which is good but I have had the most horrible runny nose and I've been sneezing my ass off. Um, so last night I had to like plug my nose with tissue so that I could sleep because it was just dripping. Sorry if that's TMI, but it was just so awful. <laughs> so I had to take a freaking Rona test. I just didn't want to be an asshole and not know. So now I can confidently say it's fine, it's just allergies. Uh, anyway, let me show you some things I'm packing. I uh, figured to bring more than not enough and I like to have options even though everything is completely planned. So I'm a nerd. I actually prefer to use post-its that stick but I don't have any. I have literally planned every day <laughs> with Friday a day in Reading. It's going to be rainy and 75 degrees and I wrote what outfit and what bag goes with it and sunglasses and accessories. Road trip to Sacramento, sunny and 80. I'm going to wear shorts, my bodysuit, sneakers, and a belt. Um, I wanted to plan each day according to the temperature and the weather outside. 
so that just helps me because a lot of times when I get to wherever I'm going I get overwhelmed with just being distracted with everything that I don't like remember what's for what and then things just start to get jumbled um so I feel like this will be a nice way to at least give myself a little bit of an outline of how I want my outfits to go together I've got multiple hats options because I love a, I love a good hat especially if it's sunny out I really don't need two pairs of black sandals maybe I'll take some out some spare sunglasses I have a pair in white or um, in silver and in gold fanny pack for when we walk on the beach or go for dog walks this is all of my toiletries I bought this set and I love it one's for makeup one's for all of my shower stuff and this one just hangs by a hook and this is when I get to utilize all of my trial size products. So I have a fresh face halo in here, lots of sample stuff, miniature everything, miniature um, body wash, which I'm excited because this is Sunshine Mimosa, which I've never um, used before. So it's going to be nice to have a new fragrance to kind of go with the trip. It'll always remind me of this trip from here on out. All of my makeup, I'll have to show this to you guys at some point when I'm in the... Um, hotel or something like what I packed with my makeup and tons of shorts and dresses and options I'm only bringing a couple of purses basically my nude one and my black one which are just two basics um, this is just like a little emergency kit with like a needle and thread band-aids um, little shoes to pop out and take the dogs out sneakers that are gonna go with most outfits because these just match everything I always get complimented on them too. They're just the best. Little Adidas slip-ons. And I've got to pack my hair stuff still. I've got my computer bag. I do intend on doing some work while I'm away. So that's everything. All my stuff that I'm packing. I'll show you some outfits and whatnot as we go, obviously. But um, today I'm just wearing my Honey Love bodysuit because I just, I love that it's a bra and underwear. Like I really don't even have to think about it. And... And then I just have on some H&M uh, sweat sweatpants, which these are my favorite ones. They're the most comfortable I own. I just love the way they look and fit. And some UGG slippers because we're just going to be in the car. But they do have a bottom to them so that like if I have to walk into a convenience store, it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's the outfit. And then I have a little zip-up jacket to go over this. Need some coffee in me. We want to hit the road. I think we're doing fish tacos tonight, said Marcy in a text. She was like, how's, how's fish tacos sound? I'm like, yes, please. I can eat so many tacos. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to pack up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. You're on the road. It's official. We stopped for Starbies. We got some sandwiches. Puppies are buckled. Go this way. And we're on our way to Oregon. Yeah, you stay in that basket. He's a little escape artist and likes to jump out of it. But let's see, what did I get? Look at how good your drink is. Caramel Macchiato. That's a big one. Did you get a, a, a whatever it's called? Venti. Venti. Nice, nice. All right. Right now we're, uh, we're only 30 minutes away from home right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> like 20. That's a nice Starbucks. That guy was really friendly. They give that guy a raise. I got the impossible mm. sausage sandwich, which is now officially going to be my new favorite. Got to help support buddy. Microsoft. You know, I got to make sure that Bill Gates gets his money. Look at him. Right? Was it Bill Gates who now owns like all the uh, impossible meat companies? More farmland than the side of Hong Kong. Australia. But if you have all that farmland and you're only using it for fake meat, I don't get it. You will be there at 9 a.m. Uh, 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 David, let me start by saying uh, truly a great moment in my life where I really felt like I was successful. My old stomping grounds. This is my first experience of living on the west coast as an adult. Where's my exit? You know what's so weird? It's like, I don't even remember. It would take me a second to remember how to get around. I know I'm over there somewhere. 
I was right off Hawthorne, yeah. I didn't have a car at first, I just had a bike. So I biked everywhere I went. I totally forgot what it looked like. <coughs> Can't believe that I ever had a life here. We have come to a Super 8. Just kidding. <laughs> we just pulled off of this rest stop to take a potty break and let the dogs stretch their legs. We're about I think an hour and a half away from our destination in Oregon. We did pretty good. We made good time. It's a beautiful day out. Like we've got sun. It's just so nice. Let's go get some water. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Listen to some comedy <laughs> and Mostly just chatted, honestly. I'm like one to just keep the music low and talk. Just catch up. <laughs> snack update. Road snack update. Recess calming hemp and adaptogen infused sparkling water. Calm, cool, collected, blood orange flavored. You got yourself a Red Bull? Yeah. Dragon fruit. Is that, is it because it's green? It means it's a healthy Red Bull? No, this is the healthiest beef stick ever, though. <laughs> I got Beyond Meat jerky and corn nuts. Where's it going? All right, let's hit the road. We made it. We're here at uh, my husband's dad and his wife's house in Oregon, and I'm so stuffed up. <laughs> he just gave me this aller flow it helped but <laughs> of course tina do you want to go for a walk come here let's get this on you want to get your harness on come on we're gonna go for a walk come here oh you guys come here <gasps> good boy Marvin, that's such a good boy. You gotta wait, help me help you. What a good boy. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Come here, little. Tina, come here. Tina, come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. Come here a little closer, please. Good boy, Marvin. See if Big Brody does it, then I can do it too. If Big Brody does it, I can do it too. Good girl. It's it. You're gonna have such a good time. You guys like the hood? It's nice out here. Nice change of pace from uh, up there. Oh, yeah. Dog walk <clears throat> with the dachshunds. I thought about doing this when I broke up on the concrete with the mulch and a couple of trees. Come on, what do you think? What? I could just do mulch with a couple trees like this too in the front yard there. We wouldn't have to mow it. I you mean... Get some nice bark. You can even get the real big bark pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm a mulch girl. Let's keep walking and look at all these lovely yards and get inspiration. We know at least what trees we want. Yeah, we'll yeah. get two ginkgo trees. Two ginkgo yeah. trees. And then in the back we have a really big planter that he got from, I'm trying to see if there's one similar. It's huge. And we're thinking of doing an olive tree. There's a big fat bumblebee. <laughs> Do not enter, I play. <laughs> it's the bad, I don't know why that's not on the front door. I know, it should be. I had it hanging right here because that's what That's a good spot. Because it kind of looks like a hotel door anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the dock side. That's my favorite thing to do, it's burn bread. Just ask your dad. Almost ready. <laughs> Ooh, orange juice. Is it, where is it? Is there any drink in there? Hi, Marvin. We're getting this. This is amazing. Oh, I don't know how to work this salt. Doesn't really grind them up. Here it goes.
such a beautiful, relaxing morning, and I have the worst allergies of my life. <laughs> I sound like it. We just had breakfast, and I sound awful. And I'm likely gonna lose my voice at some point. Awesome. <laughs> Where's the teeter? You figure out that door. Push it. Push. The push. Go on, Teeny. Go on. All right, we'll go through the big door. Well, this part of the trip is over. We are done with our Portland stay at the Sutton house. My allergies are so bad, you guys. I just like already wiped all the makeup off my nose. But at least my voice has gone up a few octaves and I don't sound like Flo from the truck diner. Um, so yeah, it's it's been, you can hear it. It's been a bit of a bummer, but at least um, I'm able to function and that's good. Cause uh, it would suck if this actually like made me feel like not going cause we're not that far from our house. We would have to turn around. So I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and yeah. <laughs> Anyway, packing up and I don't have a cute outfit today because the weather is actually just like cold and rainy. So I'm wearing my Honey Love leggings, a camisole top and just a black hoodie. So I've basically just worn straight up black comfy clothes for the past two days, but I'm in the car. You know, we're gonna be in the car for another four hours. So no point in trying to look cute and the weather is not really cute outfit ready because <laughs> I was gonna do like a cute little jean skirt with a shirt and some sandals and I looked at the weather and it's gonna be like 63 and raining so beanie it is but it's been so good to see Marcy and Larry they cooked us a beautiful breakfast and we just enjoyed seeing the clouds rolling in over the mountains now we are off to Redding California to go see all of my husband's friends that he grew up with basically so this will be fun Seconds. You know, the usual. They can go around. They chose the right lane. So if they want to go faster, that's what that lane is for. On to the next. <laughs> Just got to California. It's official. I missed the stupid sign. I always miss the signs. It's like you immediately get into California and everything looks like it needs watered. <laughs> How does it know? <laughs> How does the weather know? Like, it's California. Don't rain here. There's snow up on them, their mountains, though. Look at the little sign with the dude. Uh -huh. can just go here. This is a nice looking gas station. Let's uh, go here. There's nowhere to walk the dog. So. Oh, yeah, there's not. Let's go to... A cute little town, Wairika. Chevron. Poor George's. Still nowhere to walk. Poor George's ain't doing too good. <laughs> okay, we're at another gas station stop, and I just want to say that if there is an award for the best snacks, oh, fuck I think I would get it. <laughs> Look at what I got. Carrot Cuties Pickled Carrot Sticks. Gross. Gross! Vinegar, carrot. Pineapple kiwi water. Boring! Uh, honest tea hibiscus herbal tea. That's honesty the grossest shit I've ever had. Are you kidding me? Uh, Cajun style snack mix. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. And this is the creme de la creme. Cheese curds. Oh, God. <laughs> you hate everything I got. <laughs> no, I don't. Such a jerk. Does anyone hear him? Brat. Grade A brat. Oh, okay. All right, let's roll, huh? Yes. 100 more miles. Watch him try one of these and just be like, oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> you know you're gonna have yourself a carrot stick and a love spicy, it. Spicy fucking stick, I hate those. Yeah, someone saying gross to my food that eats fucking Sun pig ass. <laughs> 
ding dang do. Try it. No, thank you. I seriously don't want that. That sounds pretty fucking disgusting. It tastes like a pickle. It reminds me of the stuff you leave in the jar when you have fucking pickles. Mm hmm. The best part. are like really like wait how does that work then do the docks move <laughs> yeah. wow good morning <laughs> i heard your little pitter patter coming down the hallway good morning and welcome to a another location in the california road trip here, I'm like finding my light. <laughs> I was just doing my makeup in this mirror here. It's like the perfect floor mirror makeup situation. I love sitting on a floor in front of a mirror and doing my makeup for some reason, especially on vacation. Cause I feel like whenever you go to hotels and um, just like foreign places, the whole, how I'm gonna be able to see myself doing my makeup situation is always interesting. You never really know, do you? Oh, there's my shoes under the bed. Um, I was going to take the dogs for a W-A-L-K. They will know what I'm saying. And, oh, we've got a visitor. <laughs> we've got two visitors. That is Bo and Penelope, Mr. Bojangles and Penelope. I cannot with how cute they are. I had some anxiety about our dogs and them because our dogs are so small and they're not used to big dogs and I thought that it would be just chaos. <laughs> you never know. You never really know like what it's gonna be like with you know a new dog dy dynamic. And these guys have been so good with my dogs. Tina! Get out from under there, little rabbit. Especially this one, because she's so small. She's a teacup Shih Tzu, and so she's tinier than most breeds. And, um, you know, if you see her next to Mr. Bojangles, she looks like the size of his head. He's a big boy. When he came running in towards us, I was holding Tina, and she just shook like a chihuahua. She was terrified. She's never seen a dog this big before in her life. <laughs> uh-uh, no, no. We're not going to sniff these bulls, misters and sirs and misses. But you're just a friendliest. And look at your pom-pom, it's so beautiful. My anxiety was pretty much like squished within the first 30 minutes of being here, which is great. And that was what I was the most nervous about for this whole trip was just how they were going to all get along with the dogs that we're going to be seeing because every single person we know are dog lovers and they all have dogs too. I do want to show you guys though that, okay, so who we're staying with is Richie and Jenna and they are back in the day, old school friends of my husband. They all went to school together, grew up together. Richie and Jenna have been together since forever. I went to their wedding when I first met Lyle ages ago. And um, they're just the greatest people. They're just really special. And they, um, Richie is a hotshot firefighter. So he's got really cool stuff all around the house, just like an ax with like a cool 
plaque on it that says he's been a hot shot for like forever. He's been uh, doing this for years and years and years. He's like pretty up there, I guess. Um, and I think he said on Sunday, he's gonna be going out to Alaska to learn how to fly a drone into wildfires. I think that's the coolest freaking thing. Cause first of all, I wanna learn how to fly a drone as well. So maybe he can give me some pointers. <laughs> And um, what a cool thing to do for your job. It's like, I'm, oh yeah, no big deal. I'm being flown to Alaska to learn how to fly like a fire drone. It's insane. But yeah, he fights the big fires, the big, big forest to wildfires. Um, so he's traveling all the time. And then she's a respiratory therapist. So cheers to some coffee and a cute owl mug. Let's go look at the lemon tree tinter. <laughs> look at her next <laughs> Bo, you're huge. Look at it. Look at all the juicy, fat lemons. Oh my gosh. There, this is just overflowing. Look at all of them in there. Look at this beautiful neighborhood. I thought I'd walk over because I was just overtaken by the beauty of these pointy trees. <laughs> and I thought I would bring the dogs for a little walk and get out of the house. But yeah, I'm just gonna explore this little area, see what kind of neat plants I can find. I have some food coming. I door dashed some breakfast. Yeah, I ordered a Boca omelet. I guess it's not vegan, there's cheese on it. But I got a Boca omelet and a pancake and fresh squeezed orange juice. So this walk will be well deserved after, uh, well the food will be well deserved since I'm taking them on a nice walk. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> so much food, <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe those grow on a tree in their yard. I'm so jealous. I want a lemon tree. Look, what a photo. I should take a, a nice pic of that. <laughs> yes. They're huge. That is the biggest lemon I've ever seen. I'm probably gonna get a few more because I wanna give my dad like three and then take home a bunch. Pointy trees. They're all over. Redding. Have you ever noticed that? Or am I making you notice that? You're making me notice it. You've never noticed pointy trees. They're everywhere. <laughs> Somebody put this doll in the window. <laughs> it's already Saturday and we are heading out. I just threw in some comfy clothes and I'm gonna change when we get there because I think we're going to the tattoo convention for a little while today. And then tomorrow is a big long day of it as well. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to all of it because I wanna relax, but I know that my husband is. Last night we went to go visit with some friends of his in her absolutely stunning home. <laughs> I wish I wasn't too shy to ask if I can get video in her house because it is the most beautiful boho style, like minimal, clean, well-decorated house. Like woods and linens and plants and her dog is so cute. Little um, brown curly haired poodle, golden doodle I think. Um, I don't know the names of the different various types of doodles, but yes, she's he was the cutest thing. He's only a year old, so he was like puppy brain. <laughs> ball? Ball? That's like all he could think. 
but uh, yeah, we just hung out and chatted with her and her husband and just like had a relaxing night. And then we came back here and realized we were hungry and ordered some um, like Mexican food takeout and just sat in bed and watched War of the Worlds and ate in bed. And then we had like the bag still here. So this morning when I woke up, the whole bedroom smelled like an armpit. Cause you know how like some foods the next day just smell different <laughs> than when you ate it. It just straight up smelled like an armpit in here. Um, but anyway, we have everything all packed up almost. The car is going to get packed up, but everything's ready to go. We're just having one less, last little hang with Richie and Jetta while uh, we're up and then we're gonna get a family photo and get going, get on the road. You can't see it, but we stop off at this place that's called like Country Organics and Redmond or Redding. We're in Redding still, we're heading out and we stopped at Country Organics because I've been a vegan food, vegetarian food, health food kick through this whole trip and Lyle just brought the juices and oh my goodness. I also got a veggie Reuben and a crepe and these were all suggestions suggestions from Samira, his friend who was like, you gotta get these things. So I ordered everything she suggested. Of the crepe. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it's in two. That's perfect. You can share it. And this is the Reuben. Wow. It's like opening a present. That looks so good. Wow, this place is amazing. our Airbnb. It's super cute. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour here in a second, but Lyle just went to go grab all of the luggage and I wanna show you the backyard because that's just so peaceful and cute and there's little touches and details here and there with the spot, so. Microwave and little refrigerator. You got a little mini kitchen to put some stuff bathroom goes up these little stairs into a stand-up shower mirror bed TV luggage husband thank you I thought you farted <laughs> just like a fart oh, lovely fenced in backyard Oh, I'm gonna read right here. <laughs> nice touch with the flowers. There's all sorts of little areas to walk around. Look at the sweet swing. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit on it, but it's cute. Cozy little spot. <laughs> Why don't you come inside, bud? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that is the tour. That is the Airbnb tour. And there's a giant park across the street. Oh, in that window. that window. Here is the outfit. Sorry for Seinfeld being so loud in the background, but I thought I guys I sh I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing to Sacramento, the tattoo convention. It's an H&M dress. My dogs are so loud. The TV is so loud. Shoes I thrifted. Actually both the um, purse and the shoes are Rebecca Minkoff. But this is that H&M dress that I got that everybody was loving on 
Instagram. And um, it's, I, as far as I know, it's not available, but it's like a jean material, but it's brown. I feel a little bloated, actually a lot, because I'm PMSing so bad. <laughs> but Jimmy Choo, sunglasses, and a hat, and I'm feeling as cute as I can feel bloated. I'm ready. You guys gonna stay and be good. Mom and dad will be back soon. Downtown Sacramento, I think. Or at least near the convention center. I feel too uncomfortable filming at tattoo shops. <laughs> So, I just got like one clip, I think. But I just came for a little walk to get out of the hustle and bustle because it's tattoo conventions, in my opinion, are a bit much. I can only handle it for so much time before I'm like, okay. Look, you could sit on the toilet and get a suntan. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's real nice. I have to find a good pathway. I can't believe this is like literally right across the street. Like that's the house. And here's the park. <laughs> Super convenient. It'll be full of kids for Mother's Day. Shortly. Shortly. Yeah. We should get on a maybe a path and try to do a loop. Okay. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Dog moms, cat moms, and mom moms. We'll definitely have to do this with them tomorrow morning before we get on the road so that they get their little wiggles out before we do another five hours. I don't mind it. Maybe you hate it because you're the one driving. I don't mind little five hours, that's about my mat. Yeah. Before my legs start to fucking fall asleep. Yeah, and you're like, you start to get antsy. Yeah, four, four or five hours is fine. Yeah. Going a full fucking like eight or nine hour drive is fucking, because you get halfway there in five hours and you're like, oh my God, I gotta, basically like you're turning around and going back, you know? Right. Yeah, let's go over that bridge over there. Okay. I was already just editing some of the footage from the week and it's really neat to look back over already. Um, I really do create these videos, especially on trips when Harry Matt Sally is on. So let me... <sighs> Pause. I've been sitting here editing and just drinking coffee and relaxing and really enjoying just chilling out. He has the car, so I don't really have many places I can go. I can go hang out in the garden yard, the garden retreat. But yeah, he's gonna be just getting tattooed today. He's decided to get tattooed by this Italian tattooist that he's been following for a really long time. And that's the beauty of conventions is that you can get tattooed by somebody that normally you can't. And so he's gonna be gone for probably a couple of hours, maybe even longer, because he might meet up with some friends or something. But. I didn't want to go. I could have gone in with him and just walked around, but I really just wanted to sit here and relax and edit some of this footage so that I can get it ready for the second leg of the trip, which we still have um, two more stops and we still won't be home till Wednesday and today's Sunday. So there's still a lot more coming up. I'm not gonna say where we're going and like where we're staying um, until we get there because I think it's more exciting that way. I just ordered from a place called Ike's Sandwiches, Love and Sandwiches. And I got myself a Diet Pepsi because they didn't have any other kind of soda water or anything and I wanted something bubbly. I got a sandwich and this is 
Oh my God, that looks so good. This is a vegan turkey. So this whole sandwich, I think it has mayo on it. Yum. Totally vegetarian. Salt and vinegar. And that's my lunch. This sandwich is so good. If you're in Sacramento, go to Ike's. Mm. That's it for right now. I'm going to actually stop anything and upload this so that I have something first thing Monday morning to share and as we're leaving actually. And then the rest will pick up from the next leg of this little road trip. I'm having such a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. That really helps me out. And I will see you guys on this second half of this, which will be going up sometime next week or this coming week. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.